Mshimiwa, your name was missing in the ODM list for leadership, something that many people did not anticipate would happen. What's your take on that? <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Walter, in the book of John 5, 1 to 18, a story is told of a crippled man who always uh, sat by the pool of Beth Bethesda, Bethesda near Jerusalem. A story is told that this pool, angels of God could come, stir it up, then any person who was sick, deaf, crippled, one person at a time, if a person jumped and the first person to, uh, to, to, to jump in the pool would be healed. Then a crippled man stayed by the poolside. He could not move. Anytime the, an angel of God came to stir up the pool, he could not jump in. Another person could jump in. For, 30, for 38 years, the man could not do anything. Then one day Jesus passed by, found this man, the crippled man by the poolside, lying on his mat, and uh, asked him, what can I do for you? The man said, he did not even go straight to what, was, what the problem was, but the man said that I've been staying here for 38 years, crippled, waiting to jump inside the pool. But every time my turn reaches, another man jumps inside because he had no means to jump. And uh, Jesus just told him, carry your mat and go home. Jesus healed him. And the man carried his mat. He did not leave his mat down. And the mat was a sign of him carrying his challenges. He did not leave the challenges to carry him. So he carried his mat. But initially he used to sit on his challenges, on his mat. Okay? So this, can, this is relatable. And there's a time and a season for everything. In the book of Ecclesiastes 3, the Bible says there's a time and a season for everything.